Hi, this is Jamie Munson, health coach with Partner MD at our Midlothian, Virginia location. Thanks for tuning in today. Today I'm going to go over breast exams and just give you some basic tips on preventative measures here at Partner MD. We just want to make sure that we're being proactive with your health and doing anything we can to take care of you. Before I get started, I just want to let you know, as I kind of dove in and looked at different organizations on guidelines in general, um, I kind of noticed each place was slightly different. So I did get a recommend recommended site for us today and the the site I used is called US Preventative Service Task Force. Um, this website in particular has tons of recommendations not on just breast cancer but uh, and breast exams and and testings and things of that nature. It's lots and lots of information. So if that's a site it was US Preventative Service Task Force. Okay, so if you want to learn a little bit more or get some of these handouts that I used as uh, general guidelines to give you today, you can print out a lot of resources for you so that you can get a little bit more than what I probably will be providing. So if you want to dive in, feel free. So keep in mind, even though I'm going to give you recommendations and the general guidelines, it's really important that you are sitting down with your physician, with your specialist, whoever you have, uh, to go over where you are. You know, what is your health background? What are your current medical risks? What's your family history? Um, and what are you comfortable with, you know, with these guidelines and have that, you know, open dialogue so that you guys can make the right decision together. But I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of give you some information on mammograms. So these are the more common screening screenings that women will have. Uh, the most beneficial age group is gonna start at 50. So 50 to 74 is the recommended number for that for the highest benefit. However, starting in your 40, you can also get regular mammograms as well. So if you're not sure if this is something you want to do, not want to do, this is where you need to have that conversation with your physician so you both can make a decision what's best for you and your health. Uh, the recommended time, it used to be annual, we are now hearing every other year. So you don't have to go in every single year. They kind of change this a little bit as far as uh, the benefit to your health, but uh, on both sides from what you're getting started screen, but also your risk and your exposure as you're being tested. So take a look at those and also take a look at what your physician recommends. I also recommend to take a look into your insurance, uh, making sure that you understand any fees you could occur, how your doctor charges, the facility of which you're going to, do they charge differently? Uh, so make sure you're doing your homework on that prior to. You can call the facility or even just your insurance company so that you understand um, any costs that they may be associated with that. The other last piece I want to talk about was self-breast exams. Most women are familiar with this, is to, to do these on a monthly basis at home. So this is something you would conduct in the shower, lying in the bed, or maybe just standing in front of your bathroom mirror after the shower. Um, the recommended age starts about 20 and older. However, there's a little bit of changes on pushing these now to just creating too much fear and anxiety and stress of uh, being tested and we, it's not wanting to overwhelm you or thinking you find something. So have that conversation with your doctor or your OB, whoever it is, and talk about those self exams at home and just see what their feedback and thought is and where your comfort level is as well. Um, but those are kind of the main things as far as breast exams going home, you know, going on, making sure that you're you're staying up to speed, getting your mammograms, not not skipping them. But even if this was already information you are aware of, I think it's really important for you to remind yourself, but also remind others, others who aren't doing it. So share this with your friends and family and, and encourage them to be proactive and hopefully um, catch something early, you know, if, if that is the case. So we can do this together as women and encourage each other to take care of our health. So hopefully this was some nice encouragement and just give you some general guidelines here, but continue to watch us every single week. Each coach will be doing a slightly different topic and then save your calendar for the end of the month and keep an eye on our post because we will be joined by Dr. Bigelow and Dr. Bishop at the very end. So that should be a great, a great video for all of us to stay tuned in for. So I hope this was useful and hope this was helpful. Take care of yourself.